guys. So today I am going to talk about the Stork OTC Conceptacle. So let me show you what it looks like brand new in the box. I have a box right here that is brand new, never been opened. So let me go ahead and break into it. Here we go. When you open your Stork, you will get this. It's got some paperwork inside the box as well. But this is the actual device. So it comes with two parts. It comes with the applicator here. And this is called the conceptacle. And what this is is a combination cervical cap and a silicone condom. So this is good. Even if you have a latex allergy, you can still use this product. There's no latex involved in it whatsoever. So let me show you what this looks like. It comes in its own little package. I'm not going to open this one because if you open it, then it's no longer sterile. But I wanted to show you exactly what it looks like when it comes out of the box. Put it back in the box. Now I'm going to show you one that's already out of the package. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like when you take it out. And when you let it go, you're going to have what looks like the regular tip of a condom. And inside this outer ring here is the actual condom that you will be rolling up. And inside is the conceptacle. I'll go ahead and pull this out. This is the part where his sperm gets deposited in there. This goes into that applicator that goes inside you. But we're talking mainly today about the condom. Now, this is a silicone condom, and if you are allergic to latex, you have probably experienced these before. But most of us do not have a latex allergy, therefore we have not been exposed to silicone condoms. The thing with this is it comes, I'm trying to get the tip out here so it looks right, okay. The thing with this is it comes unlubed, obviously, because it is not in a sealed packet. Um, and any type of lube that is not a sperm-friendly lube is detrimental to sperm. Okay, now this condom, as you can see where this line is, is right where the cervical cap would be sitting. The cervical cap, where do they put it? Although the outer ring is firm, the rest of it's nice and squishy. So when it is in the condom and you're having sex with it, it's not like it's this hard, painful thing that's slamming into your cervix. It is very very squishy it is very soft so no part of this is hurtful when it's in the condom i just want to clarify that now as for the condom when you are rolling up a silicone condom it kind of gets stuck on itself do you see this how it kind of wrapped over the top right here i found that it just keeps doing that as you're trying to roll it onto the penis <laughs> It just keeps getting stuck on itself. And we had that problem the very first time that we used the Stork OTC. And it, I didn't want it to discourage anyone else. Didn't discourage us whatsoever because at that point, he just ejaculated directly into the cervical cap. We put this into the applicator device, inserted it, and it worked just fine. And that is an option if you don't want to use the condom method. The benefit of the condom method is that you can still have the intimacy that you would have while trying to conceive the old-fashioned way. You still get to have sex. It's not quite so clinical. It's just a little bit clinical. You know what I'm saying? But because we were having such trouble with the condom going on, and my husband was starting to lose his erection, we abandoned this entirely the first day. The second day we used it, I got smart. A little bit of sperm friendly lube. This is pre-seed. You can use Astroglide TTC or whatever kind of sperm friendly lube you use in your TTC. And I just put it on my hands. And then what you're gonna do is kind of put it on the silicone underneath. So then as you unroll it, it's not going to keep getting stuck on that silicone. Look at how smoothly that goes up now. So if you are having trouble with the silicone sticking to itself when using the Storco TC Conceptical, use a little sperm-friendly lube. I don't know how to say this and not sound smutty, but you know, it's, this is a process of baby making and, and sex is involved, it's what it is. But a little bit of lube will make this so much easier to unroll and to get in place 
and then you can just quickly move right back into what you were doing and it stays a nice intimate moment. So in case you were struggling with the condom in the Storco TC, I wanted to give you this quick video so you can see an easy way to use it. I hope that helped. I don't know how many times I can show you a condom in one video. Do you think this is going to get tagged on YouTube? <laughs> but I just wanted to share that with you guys. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any other questions about how to use the condom or the conceptacle, leave me a comment below and I would be happy to address that in my next video. Thanks so much for watching guys and I will catch you next time. Bye!